Hey, good evening, guys. It's Greg, Greg Christensen, Green View Livestock. Uh, I haven't showed you much about Sally lately. I still got her on this long cord there, and uh, but I'll take her off once in a while, and she'll come to me. Sally. Sally, come here. Sally. Sally, come here. Here she comes. See, but if she gets distracted, she's not going to come. That's just the nature of them right now. And so now I'm I'm teaching her to down. So what I'm doing is I, I would put that cord under my arch of my shoe, under my, not under my heel, but right in there and I'd say Sally down I'd pull it just a little bit Sally down that's a good dog that's a good dog Sally down that's a good dog so I just keep doing that That'll do. come on and do that a few times and then I, but now I've got her to where I'll get her to come to me. Come here. And then I'll just say, Sally down. And I'll just press on her shoulders just a little bit. Sally down. Sally down. Good dog. Good dog. Because you want to get it down on them. And you just well start that early while you're not doing anything else. And so, um, but when they're in the pen with the sheep or goats or whatever livestock, don't expect them to down right away just because you taught them that out of the pen and they'll obey it because their instincts will take over once they're around livestock. And so uh, they won't listen to you for a little while. Sally, Sally down, Sally down. See now, she wants to sit when she hears down, but I want her all the way down. Sally down. Good girl, good dog, good dog. So, and we just do that a while. I'll have her out about 30 minutes in the daytime here, maybe morning, maybe evening. Sometimes I just let her play, be a puppy. Other than that, she stays in the kennel. I like her to be learning stuff out around here when she's with me. So if she's around the livestock, she's with me, I, I just walk around them. Sally. And she'll study them pretty intently. She'll kind of get in a crouch position and crawl up towards them. Trying to get a shot of her doing it here. There, see. And she thinks she, she's going to get petted when I lean down. See. But we've not really done anything with the livestock. I've walked around in the pen like that a little bit. And she wants, she wants to go around in front of them. And that's what I would expect from a border collie. And that's good. But that's as far as we've got. It's a long road when you have a small pup. You know, so she's, uh, what, probably born in around the 4th of July, let's say. So August, September. You know, maybe she could be close to three months old now, I guess. She might be four. I'd I have to look up her paper. She is papered, but 
Um, doesn't mean a lot to me. But that's all we're doing now. When you got a pup, you just kind of do a little at a time. Mostly let him be a puppy. Hey, y'all have a good day, good evening, and uh, we'll see what else we're doing this week.